Here we're going to draw the profile of what we're calling Patty Hill. First, let's uh, review what a profile is. So the profile, uh, if this is the topographic map view, uh, this would be the profile, like the side view, looking at it from the side. So the same hill side view, topographic map view. Okay, so for Patty Hill, okay, um, we have point C and we have point D. Please note the contour interval is 20 feet. So you need a pencil for sure and some scrap paper. So this is what you need to do. So you put your scrap paper up to line C and D like that. Okay, and then you mark... C right there, mark it C, mark D right there. And then you want to write the value of the elevation of each. So you can see C is on 100. And again, they're going up by 20. You got to recognize that because these lines are, uh, these circ circular lines are getting smaller, it's going uphill. So that's 100, 120, 140, 160. So C is on 100, mark it like that. And note how I write them going down. That's good because sometimes you need the space. And then everywhere a line crosses my paper, I now mark that to be 120 feet. I mark that right there. And you could check and pull it off and count off that that is 140. 140. And then this is 160. And then this is where it helps me that I'm writing it downward because the numbers don't get jumbled up. And then I see the next one is right there. And this is where you really need to check. Because if you look, that's 160. That goes around. That's 160 again. Okay, so it's not 180. And that's a common mistake people make. So that is 160. And you see we're going downhill. So D is at 140 feet of elevation. So now that you ha once you have those pieces, uh, those things marked on your scrap, piece of paper, you then go down to this grid, which you're going to need to have, and it needs to be the right size always. So C and D, and you put it here. And then what you do is you will slide this up. C is 100 feet, so I go there, and you put an X right there. Okay, and this is about accuracy. You really want to get your paper on there uh, correctly and get it accurate. And then you mark, you slide it up, 120 is right there. Slide it up there, 140, right there. 160 is right there. And then this is, look, oh, now I'm at 160 again. I can kind of leave it there. Mark 160 there. And then I want to do 140, so then I slide it down there. And then I mark 140, because D is 140 right there. So you're left with those X's, okay? And now you need to connect them. And the key thing is connect them with a smooth line. So connect them with a smooth line. Do not use a ruler or anything else. Smooth line. And it needs to go up over 160. You can't touch 180. If it touches 180, it's wrong. Up over, rounded like that. Come down there and there. Okay? That is the profile of that hill along line CD that we see right there. Here we'll be doing the profile along line A and B. And one of the key things to note is the contour interval is 20 feet. So each uh, contour line will count by 20 feet. So here you're going, going to need a piece of scrap paper and a pencil. So here you go. You put this along here, put along line AB, mark A and mark B. This should always be the first thing you do. Okay, then you want to write the elevation of both A and B. So A you got to realize that uh, this is 600 here. This is 600, and that's 700. So this is going uphill. And A is one line down, so they go by 20. So that's 680 feet. A is 680 feet elevation above sea level. And then B, let's see what... So B, this is 700. And then this is going down 680. So B is 660 feet above sea level. Please note on this, these are just markers, 730, 712, that's the highest elevation of those hills. Uh, sometimes they confuse people, so put them up there, and then you want to mark every time a contour line crosses. So this here, you can see, so, and pull it away, that's 700, that's, uh, it's a darkened line, an index contour, so that's 700. Again, writing the numbers downward. This right here, I'm going up, I can pull it away and realize that's 720. It's 720 there, and it wraps around there. 
So this is the top of the highest, most contour line there. So, so this is 720 feet, and that is also 720 feet. This, this dark line, that's 700. Okay. And then this here, and you always want to check and make sure, okay, I'm going down, that's 680, that's 660. Okay, and then you don't mark any streams or rivers. You only mark isolines. Don't mark streams or rivers or roads. I marked this one. Let's see what that is. So this, uh, if you realize, you can maybe count out from here, 700, 680. So this is 660 again. So it goes down to the river valley and then starts going back uphill again, which is common. 660, 680 feet. And then I mark this one, and you can see that's 700. It's going to wrap around. See the darkened contour there? 700. 700. And then if that's 660, see, I'm going down that 680. So you really should be pulling your paper away to, def to double check the value. So you're going to have this like that. And then you go on to the grid here and look if you can look on this A and B are already marked for you so that's kind of nice and then you line up A and B so I line this up with here I line B up with there and then I slide up and mark so A is at 680 that's marked for me and I slide it up to there and I mark 700 right there 720 right there oh that's 720 again I don't slide up so 7 20 is right there. Here's the other 720 right there. And then this is 700, so it's going back downhill. 700. And then 680. 680. 660. Ooh, that's also 660 right there. And then that's 680, so I have to slide it up. Again, accuracy is key. 700. Oh, there's another 700 right there. And then I go back down again. 680. 680. And V is 660. Oh, B is already marked for me. So you have those lines. Now you need to connect them. Smooth lines. The key thing is smooth. That's the top of the hill. It's going to be rounded. That's the top. And that's like a river valley there. So do it like this. Through all the points. Rounded. Must go up. Can't touch 740 because the line... Uh, because the hill is not uh, that tall, there's no 740 contour line. I go down here, notice I have to go down below here, and we're kind of estimating a bit, you don't know exactly what it is, but below 660, don't touch 640. Go through here, up again, over here, round to the top, go down here, connect it to B, make sure you get through all those points, and be uh, careful. Okay, here's a common mistake I see a lot of students do. You don't want to do this. I'm going to do it wrong here. I'm going to do it with a blue marker. Watch this. When they're connecting their points, they go like this, okay? And they make it really flat at the top. And then they go down here. And they make the valley also really flat, like that. And then this peak, they make it really flat. And they go like that. Do not do this. If you do it, it will be wrong 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 okay the way you want to do it you need to connect them rounded tops and rounded valleys like that thanks for watching